everyone, Brie here. So it is the 4th of July weekend here in America, and today I thought it would be fun to look at some last minute 4th of July entertainment hacks. First up we have um, an American flag cookie cake. I love cookie cake, guys. Um, it's really funny because I generally prefer cake to cookies, but if it's a cookie cake, I prefer that to cake. I don't really know what the logic is there, but there's just something about the like consistency of cookie cake that makes it so delicious. Um, so this is really cool. It's like you frost the whole cookie white and then put on fruit. Okay, the easiest pie tartlets ever. So um, you use a cookie cutter to cut the dough into circles and then you like take a muffin tin and just like press it down in there and then put the filling in and I guess take a star shaped cookie cutter and put a little star on top and that's really cute. Use red, white, and blue candy corn to embellish cupcakes. There's red, white, and blue candy corn? Why didn't I know this? <laughs> okay, what side are you guys on in the whole candy corn debate? So let me know in the comments. Personally, I love candy corn. I cannot get enough of it. So why didn't I know that there's candy corn for the 4th of July? Because that seems awesome. Um... So you can paint clothespins and make it into an American flag wreath. That's pretty cool. Okay, so these are um, place settings. So, um, yeah, you take a mason jar and put a, a patriotic colored bandana in it and put the silverware in it. And that works as their silverware, their napkin, and... Their drinks. I feel like this would be good for a buffet setting because people could go through, load up their plate, and then just grab their mason jar at the end instead of having to grab all the silverware, grab a napkin. It just makes it easy. Okay, another little bandana hack here is um, stitching the bandanas together and creating a um, like Western Fourth of July tablecloth. <gasps> I, I, I feel like. I, I don't know, the bandanas really aren't my style, and I feel like this looks a little weird, personally. But, I mean, hey, maybe this is your style. It's not mine. Um, I also really don't want to sew up a whole bunch of bandanas. I'd rather just go to Walmart and buy a plastic tablecloth. Ooh, and here is a craft to do with your kids, if you have kids. Um, so you take a plain white t-shirt and, um, you magically create straight lines, um, in the <laughs> right shape of the American flag, leaving the perfect little square for the blue. And then you have the kid cover, um, their hand in blue paint and just, um, you know, put their handprints, um, for the blue box on the American flag. I feel like they had to have some kind of stencil for these lines. <laughs> Here we have another like table setting idea um, and it's taking streamers and like weaving them to create a basket weave look. This is an outdoor setting. I mean, 4th of July, generally outdoors. Um, and streamers are really lightweight. So those are not staying there. And also they, I mean, you know the material of streamers. They're like the thinnest paper imaginable. You set a plate down on it and you turn it slightly, it's going to rip. So yes, it's a cool look for approximately five seconds, but I don't think it's going to last. Ooh, patriotic punch. Oh, that's so cool looking. Okay, so this is a third fruit punch, a third um, Gatorade, and a third lemon lime soda. Um, I guess like this is the fruit punch, this is the blue Gatorade, and this is the lemon lime soda. Does it just naturally separate like that? I feel... Like, those aren't things that would naturally separate, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I should give this a try and see if it actually works. Basically, you cut a star stencil out of a piece of cardboard so that you have, like, a star hole in the middle of the cardboard, and then you take white spray paint and you spray paint stars on your lawn. 
And um, I mean, it's kind of cool. I feel like, again, this is something that's really cool for a big gathering. Or, I don't know, maybe you could you make some kind of star hopscotch for kids, make it into a game for kids. I don't know. Also, is this good for your grass? I don't know. Maybe this is a perfectly safe thing to do. It just seems to me like it wouldn't be um, environmentally friendly to be putting pink chemicals on grass, but I don't know. Oh, look at these cute strawberries. They dip them in white chocolates, and it doesn't say what the blue is, but I'm guessing like Pop Rocks. That's what it looks like to me, or maybe it's just blue sugar. I just, I'm kind of hoping it's blue sugar because I feel like strawberries and Pop Rocks would create a really weird effect in your mouth, and I'm not sure I'm here for it. <laughs> Okay, this is decorate your cake with flowers made out of almond slices and berries. This one I feel like is very difficult. It's like you have to have some kind of skill with cake decorating to pull this off. Um, but maybe that's just me. Um, I'm not sure. I guess they're sticking them on there with toothpicks. I don't know how they're sticking the almond slices on. Yeah, I don't know how they're pulling this off, guys. If you know how they're pulling this off, let me know because I do not know what witchcraft is making the almonds like lean out of the cake at an angle. Okay, they're little um, like mini cakes. So I guess you can make these cakes in like a cupcake tin and you fill them with Pop Rocks. I wish there were instructions on how to do this because this is really cute because it's a firecracker, you know, it explodes like Pop Rocks do. That is just a really cool idea. But I don't know, do you mix the Pop Rocks just in with the cake mix and it all works out? Or is this some kind of where you like carve out the center and like actually dump Pop Rocks in? Okay, so these are like um, little kebabs. It's cute. <laughs> Although I think the brownies kind of um, ruin the color scheme a little bit because you have the blue blueberries, the red strawberries, the white marshmallows, and then brown is not one of the patriotic colors of the American flag. So I'm not sure why that's there aside from who doesn't want brownies. Okay, and now we have another fun way to incorporate the American flag where you have strawberries, bananas, and blueberries. And this is really cute. Is it as cool as the cookie cake? No, because it's not a cookie cake, but cool. Okay, so, um, I mean, when you think of fruit and 4th of July, you immediately think of watermelon, right? So this idea is to take a cookie cutter and cut watermelon into star shapes and put them in a bowl with blueberries and you have a really cute, um, slightly patriotic, because it's pink, not red, but you still get the illusion of the patrioticness. So, and it's tasty. Oh, and here we have another watermelon idea. So you cut them into a bigger star than the ones before. Um, you make a hole in the center, stick a blueberry there, and then put the watermelon on a stick and you have a little star. That's cute. So this one is super simple. You just take a normal store-bought ice cream sandwich, you take some red, white, and blue sprinkles, put the sprinkles on a plate, and then you take the ice cream sandwich and you go around and you just press each side into the sprinkle plates and you get suddenly a very patriotic ice cream sandwich that is really delicious because in my opinion, sprinkles equal happiness. Oh, and return of the bananas. Okay, so here we have a um, throw pillow made out of bandanas. Yeah, again, lots of sewing of bandanas, not my style, not my thing. But if that is your style, then I guess it's a cute idea. More bandanas. So I'm um, here. I like this one a little more because you don't have to sew it. <laughs> um, so you just take a stick and then you take bandanas and you tie it. You do the blue and then the red and white stackers so you kind of get the illusion of the American flag without it actually being an American flag. Ooh, and so now we have a little patriotic breakfast so you can have the American flag for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, and dessert, obviously, cookie cake. <laughs> um, so this is, I guess, some kind of like toast. Um, and you put some like red jam or jelly, put the blue blueberries, and then cut up some bananas and you get an American flag shape. So let me, you cut off the collar, you cut off the sleeves, 
and then you like make it cuts along the sides to like make it so you just have a little bit dangling down you just put a piece of cardboard there and then um tape lines and spray paint red um and then you take off the cardboard you cover up the rest of it and you put little star cutouts on the white portion you have here and then you spray paint that blue so then you end up with this cool american flag shirts okay see these kind of bandanas make more sense they're just little american flag bandanas you tie them together you create a rope so i don't know what kind of dip this is um Hopefully something desserty because I think this is sugar they're putting on it. So then you take star cookie cutters of all different sizes. You don't press them into the dip. You just set them gently on top. You pour dyed sugar um, it, with some dyed red, some dyed blue um, into the cookie cutters. And then you take the cookie cutters off and they're in the shape of a star. And that's really cute. Okay, so these are just simple um, popcorn bags. Um... I guess you just layer um, a white bag inside a red bag, then a blue bag inside the white bag. Um, you take the tops and you just cut it into strips and you bend it over and it looks like a firecracker. So that's cool. This is little um, things for kids to wave around. You just take um, some ribbons and tie it to a stick and they have a little one. Okay, so this one um, I feel like is going to take a lot of work. You take streamers, and you take a star hole punch, and you hole punch stars all along the streamers. These are tiny stars all along the length of this tiny, like, really thin material that you have to be really careful not to tear every time you move it along. Oh my, I could not do this. Okay, so um, here's a little do-it-yourself 4th of July manic here. Um, you paint your nail white and then you um, hole punch some stars into some tape, put that on your nail, and then you paint over that with probably red or blue or whatever color you want the stars, and then you peel off the tape, and you have some stars on your nails. Okay, so here we have a little lantern to light as the sun starts to set. So you put um, little star stencils on the outside of the mason jar and then you spray paint the jar and then you can take the stencils off. I feel like you would have to actually be skilled in this area to pull this off. Paint them white, let it dry, um, put little circles along one and then paint the rest of it blue. Then um, for the other two, like tape off the sections to stay white and paint the rest red and then somehow make it look really worn and rustic and cool. Don't know how you do that. Okay, I think this is our last one, and um, this is um, for a gift. You just take a watermelon, wrap it in a ribbon, put a little tag that says enjoy, and voila, you have the perfect 4th of July gift. Okay, so that is all the 4th of July last minute entertaining hacks that I have for you today. Um, if you have any other ideas on uh, last minute ways to spice up the 4th of July, please leave them down in the comments. Um, and uh, yeah, please like this video, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching this, guys.